Hello everyone, this is James Shore with another Test Driven Development video and I'm happy to have Roy Oshrov uh, joining me to continue our pairing session. We're here at the Urdev conference in Malmö, Sweden and uh, having a great time. So thank very, you very much. Very for nice me. and warm in here. Oh yeah, warm in here, <laughs> but yeah, luckily we're inside. Outside, yeah. All right, so um, where where were we? We were just trying to get a test to pass right. and we, I think that we're, right now we're actually sending the model incorrectly so the table doesn't actually have any rows inside it. Yeah, I think you're right. Um, yeah, it's, I'd be happy if the test failed for the right reason, but at this point I don't think it's even failing for the right reason. This is where in real life I would start Googling on how you actually create a table model and send it into a table probably. Yeah. Um, you know what, I think, I think something else is going on here. Mm -hmm. um, as I think about it just right now. Mm -hmm. Remember how, I don't remember if you asked me this on the video or when we were just getting started, you asked me why do we have the set visible? That's true. Uh, we're not actually putting this in a frame. We're not, you know, we're not hooking it up to Swing. I don't think Swing's doing its magic and that's why we're seeing the failure. Well, if, if it turns out that we actually have to set it visible, I would be pretty disappointed. Because <laughs> I would love for test to not actually show anything, but if that's what we need to do, let's do it. Let's. So that's my theory. Let's go ahead and test that. We've already got the code already in the spike, so I can just bring that over, sure. and then we can refactor it. I think it's just one row that says visible, isn't it? Uh, no, what we have to do is we have to put it in a frame, oh. we have to pack it, we have to do sort of all the swing boilerplate stuff. So I would actually now go and call a helper method from this test and then put all the crap in there okay. instead. Uh, I'm, I agree with that, but I think what I'm going to do is just... Um, I'm going to start at least by doing some, just putting everything in the one method, and then we can refactor. Because yeah. I want to keep things, I want to keep things pretty simple and straightforward to start with. Yeah, but, but, uh, the point. Okay, no problem. It's just I know this is something I don't care about. It's just to get it things running. Mm -hmm. It's quite. Uh, anyway, that's what I don't like about UI testing. Yeah, yeah I, I don't, I mean, Swing is actually better than most because it, you can do a lot of testing on the models. It is and quite ignore, componentized. Yeah, it? yeah. Uh, but once you start getting into the actual look of the UI, uh, I mean, I'm not even sure if this is going to work long term, to be yeah. honest. Uh, part of the reason I'm doing it is because that's the point of these videos, just mm -hmm. to do test-driven development. Yeah. So um, I'm going to, actually what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy directly over what worked in the spike. Um, and... Yes, this is going to be pretty ugly. But do you really have to declare them as fields? Let's do everything inside test. Let's do just Hold private on. variables. Uh, well, the reason I'm doing this is just because that was cut and paste. Yeah. Um, but you, you, you want to do everything them. inside the test? Let's do everything inside the test. Let's not do it halfway. Okay. Um, actually, no, I don't want to do that. And the reason is I don't want to change code that used to work. If this fails, I want it to fail for a different reason. Okay. Um, so we've got that. Right now we're on the spike. No. This is the production code. Why are we doing it in a setup method at all? Because that's I've just copied it straight over. Oh. So so okay. I'm trying to reduce the scope of possible layer. Sure. I'm copying over what I know works to try to get it to work here. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to comment out the way we were setting it up before and just write the test. So this this is the exact same code we had before. Um, yeah. Except so for the custom table. table. Is a field. Yeah. So the test is exactly written the exact same way as it was before. It wasn't working though, because table is declared as a custom table. Ah, okay, there it is. So this should work. <laughs> Famous last words. Yeah, it should work. And if it doesn't work, that means. I mean, that gives us more information. And then we can refactor well, and What bring scares it. me is that I, 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 I'm afraid this won't work because mm -hmm. there's too much going on here. This is not simple. But anyway, let's try it. But it did work in it the did spike. Work. So the question, if it doesn't work here, the question will be, what's the difference between this and the spike? That's true. So, hey, hey there it worked. OK, it worked. now that we have a green bar, now I will happily entertain all the refactoring suggestions you have. Okay. But, but something is wrong here. I, I think this test should actually have failed. Why do you think it should fail? Because we're asserting against the default background color, and it's white. Uh, that happens to be the default for JTable as well. So I would actually want to see that it uses the default background color. Okay. So I think we should change the default to see that the test fails. Great. 
Green is a great taste, by the way. Thank you. Uh, default background <laughs> color for a table is green. <laughs> I think, you know, it's, it's, it's classy, really. Yeah. It's, uh, it's the, people will look at this code yeah. and they'll say, I know that somebody yeah, who had yeah. no design sense whatsoever <laughs> wrote this code. Kermit. <laughs> okay, so that's actually good. That failed for the right reasons. Yep. So um, now we can, I think now we actually have a chance to actually go and, and, and actually u use that default. I think, because okay. that's what we're testing for. So, so um, do you want to refactor the test code first, no, or do you want to, to implement make it this? Pass. Well, we, we could, it passes. We could make it pass like that. No, no, that's not good because then we'd know that it doesn't really use the default background color. It's okay. just lying to ourselves. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. But we could change this to say that we expect it to be white and be and not be lying to ourselves. No, we'd still be lying to ourselves. If we said color, if we said color dot white here, we would not be lying to ourselves. Yeah, because that's the default behavior for a table. Right. So I, I guess you had a lot of things that you didn't like about the way this test was written. If that's we want right. to refactor this test, we need to have a passing test. That's okay. Written. Okay. So do you want to refactor? I'd rather refactor the test first. And okay. Get it let's back. refactor this thing because uh, it's beginning to get out of out of hand. Yeah. Okay. So okay. that's that's where I'm coming. But from. Uh, there's one thing: is uh, do we know that the white color is always the default background color? Well, we'll change that in just a moment. Okay. Um, but we just had that problem again, where. Um, oh, yep. uh, hold on, guys. I think uh, I think we might have to deal with some background noise. Okay, we're back. Sorry about that. There were some people came into the next room, and uh, I thought the background noise might be too much for the video. So, um, Roy, you had something that you. Uh, well, where where were we? Actually, I've kind of I've kind of lost track. So we're just going to start refactoring this test. Okay, um, I'm seeing that I don't know what's going on. Um, I really don't want to try to solve it now because it's going to require a lot of That's googling. That's the visibility and so stuff. It's getting stuck again because we're not. It's not really dying after the end of the test. Yeah. Oh well, actually, in this case, because I didn't bring the teardown over. Um, I think that's definitely what the problem is. Okay. So that's uh, we can actually see the form here. Yeah. Um, so let me go ahead and kill it manually. Um, but even with that, you don't need to bring the teardown. Just say if it said visible false. Don't you think? Um, in the uh, well, end of the test. At the end of the test, but a teardown will run even if there's a failure or something yep. like that. So that's why I would rather do it in the teardown. And that's all that the teardown is doing anyway. Okay, let me let me try this again. But it concerns me. I've seen that happen even when the teardown was present. So uh, it's something I think we're going to have to look at, but probably not while we're pairing because I'd rather spend that time actually doing uh, interesting code. Okay. So uh, there are several things I would refactor. First of all, I want to get rid of the setup method. Okay. Um, one of the reasons uh, I wanted to get rid of it is because uh, setup methods actually start splitting information across the file. I just wanted to use a factory method okay. that does the same thing, but doesn't use a, a, a variable like a field. Okay. How do you refactor to us? Uh, so option Apple M. M. Yeah. There you go. Um, uh, get new table. Okay. Great. Seen something? No, I think that's okay. What does it say? This name is Discourage. Oh, because I'm using uh, uppercase uh, yeah, G. Yeah, it should be a lowercase G. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, the Apple gods are furious at me. Java gods, really. Ah, you will be struck down, but no worries. Like that. <laughs> Get new table. I will be struck down, but not without a fight. Okay. Uh, now, I'm just going to um, cut that out. Or is it? No, wait, wait a second. Wait a second. One, one step at a time here, please. Can you oh, run and make sure, sure you didn't break anything? You're absolutely right. How do I run stuff? Uh, Apple Shift F11. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, easy to remember. <laughs> Shift Apple F11. Shift, there you go. I'm just going to call it Shift App 11. Okay, there you go. Uh, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut. So is that Apple X? Yes. Of course, Apple is like Control for, it's like for control. Windows demo. Mm -hmm. Except uh, you probably want to highlight it. Uh, won't shift. it work on the whole line? I don't know. I've never tried that. Let's see. No, it doesn't. Apparently not. Okay, so shift and... No, that's not good. Shift down arrow is probably the easiest way to do that. Okay, that's, that's just going to shift down arrows. That's true. Um, this and... So we have... This is our test. Where is it? Here, testy. There we go. And I want, uh, where is it? Uh, um, what I have to say, just table 
I'm, I'm going to let you refactor that into actual variable because it's just okay. going to be faster. Otherwise, we're just going to spend the whole thing on just yeah, me so typing. I think I know what you're trying to do yeah. here. Yeah, I, um, just I want to get rid of the fields. Yeah, you want to say j table table equals get new exactly. table, correct? Yeah. Um, and then what that means is we'll need to have get new table actually return table like that. Is that what yep. you're looking for? That's true. And uh, let me you, make sure that works. We might actually have to set the field, you know what, because we have to set it invisible later anyway in the teardown. So uh, uh, well, the J frame we can keep in an instance variable. Mm -hmm. um, OK. Uh, maybe the J frame we want to keep in the setup just so that the setup and teardown are, are symmetrical. Yep. But the table, adding the table. Yeah, uh, OK. So that, that, that makes sense. Yeah. So let's see. I'll put the, um, I'll put the frame in the setup. The get new table here. Uh, and it's tear down and tear. already. So yep, no so problem. I'm good. So that's that should pass now, right? Uh, yes, it should. And there it does. Okay, now let's make uh, things simpler. Uh, we, we need to simplify back to the, the original test we had. Okay, well, let's get rid of the alternating row table variable uh, field that you wanted to get rid of at this the top. Yep. Yeah. So I'm just going to say. Uh, Oh God! Uh, if I, if you want me to be your typist, I'm I'm happy please, with that. Please, please, you be my code monkey for a while. All right. Uh, so you just tell me when you're driving and when you're navigating, and I'll, okay. I'll I'll be I'll be code okay. monkey. Okay. So now we deleted the variable. We just let's make sure everything still passes. Okay. I don't think it does. Uh, it doesn't actually because we need to instantiate this, mm -hmm. uh, or we need to declare it. Okay. Now it should pass. Yeah. Okay. So now. Uh, this get new table uh, creates three rows. We don't need to create any rows at all. Okay. We do need to create the, uh, to the get new table to take a parameter of the table model instead. Okay. Um, take the entire table model. Yeah, just like we're setting it in the original test we wrote, so okay. that we get back to the original test. So let me do it this way. I'm going to factor this out as a as a temporary method called table model, mm -hmm. um, and that should still work. But don't we just want to call get new uh, table with, as a parameter? Uh, I'm getting there. I'm just doing it in small steps. But the test broke again. The frame doesn't get set to invisible again? Uh, I don't know what's going on, but for some reason, every so often it just hangs. And that concerns me. But again, I'll, I'll solve that. I'll probably research that offline. I won't even put it on the video. Okay. Two, two and a half minutes to go. Yeah. So, um, so let's make sure that works. There it does. Mm -hmm. uh, now what I'm going to do is I'll take the table model here mm -hmm. and pass it in here. So that's why I did that interim step. Mm -hmm. and, and once again... I think it's a timing issue. You just need to wait a little bit and then make it invisible or something like you that. You think I... Yeah, I don't know. Uh, oh, God. There's definitely something going on. I'm pretty sure it's solvable, but... It uh, only happens every other time, which tells me... It could be a factor of how quickly we're running the tests. Like, if we run them... Yeah. Nope. This is the point where I would create a shortcut on a desktop that always kills the same process. That's actually a good idea. Um, or we can actually create in the teardown uh, a process that kills that process. We could. The worst case scenario. So if this, we, it means we're doing really integration testing, really. Um, we don't yeah, have control well, of this, that. This is a sort of a focused integration test, in a yep. sense. Mm -hmm. uh, now that I've got table model, I'm going to go ahead and in, uh, uninline that. Or yep. I'm going to inline it. Uh, really? But you already have all that stuff uncommented below. Uh, well, I want to do it step by step. OK. Um, So I take very small steps when I do my refactorings like um, because uh, I get bit so often. Mm -hmm. So now I think we can take this and let's try using let's try using this version as opposed to that version and see what happens. Mm -hmm. And this will be our last one before the end of the video. Will it work? Any bets? Yes, there are some bets. Will it work? That's a good question. 
<laughs> I think it will. But no, it doesn't. Okay, so I knew it. All right. Well, that's it for this time. Thanks everybody for watching. You wouldn't say one way or the other. No way. All right. Talk to you guys. Talk to you guys later.